Papa vs Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta is kind of f***ing funny. Now I get that face value, you look at that matchup and be like, oh, Gogeta's gonna mop the floor with Kaba, but there's one thing that I think most Dragon Ball fans lack, and it's a crucial element as to why Kaba would actually win, and it's to apply something called logic. One thing you guys have to understand is that the scaling between Dragon Ball Super and GT are wildly different. Now, I'm not a power scaling expert, but I want you guys to imagine someone like Omega Shenron facing off against someone like Beerus. You know that would end in a flash. So why bring this up in relation to Kaba? Well, it's because he relates to God tier characters. The prime example being Vegeta, since in base to base forms, Kaba was able to match his strength. Now you may be asking, well, it's base Vegeta, what makes you think he relates to God tier characters? Well, if you paid attention in the Super Storyline, Vegeta is compared to base Goku as well, who's already at god level performance, and is actually somewhat compared in a sense of him actually being stronger than Goku. As there was a point where Vegeta surpassed him during his training before the Resurrection arc fully started. Couple that with the three years of training he did with Goku in the Hyperbolic Time Chamber, Vegeta's power has extremely increased even in base form. So Kaba matching that is already an amazing feat. And this is all without the introduction of Super Saiyan. Now obviously each Super Saiyan level form increases and one is better than the other, Super Saiyan 1, 2, 3, etc. But realize that they are just base multipliers. So Super Saiyan 1 would be about 50 times your base strength, while Super Saiyan 2 would be 100 times base strength. And by the end of this super anime, Kaba was able to reach level Super Saiyan 2. So with a character that's already going base to base with god tier characters, having the Super Saiyan multiplier is only going to increase that factor. And you may think it's crazy that that's the case, but that's just Super's writing in general. The power scaling is just wonky. Based on what the series has taught us so far, Universe 6 Saiyans have more potential than Universe 7 Saiyans. Especially when you consider that they turn Super Saiyan relatively easier in comparison to the Universe 7 Saiyans. All in the back as they say. That doesn't make their power any right or feels right, but it is what it is. That's why Super Saiyan Kefla was able to do anything against Super Saiyan God Goku even though that sounds like it doesn't make any sense. It's just the scaling of Super. That's why I say Kaba is going to have an easy time against the Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, since Gogeta really isn't a god level threat. Now, if this was Gogeta Blue, that's a different story, since Blue has god level abilities. Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta doesn't. But that's the luck of the draw. GT came out after Dragon Ball Z, but before Super. While GT isn't canon, it would have to come after Super in the timeline, but because GT came out before Super, the concept of gods weren't really that much of a thing. So the GT writers were limited on how they can carry the story, especially with the power scaling. Super is just out the wazoo. Super Saiyan Blue would beat Super Saiyan 4, Ace Goku would beat the majority of all GT characters, and the same could be applied to Kaba, who even that base form can be a Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. And adding Super Saiyan 1 and 2 would just add insult to injury. But that's just the facts. But let me ask you guys the question. Do you think Kaba has a chance against Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta? Or do you think otherwise? And what reasons do you have to support your claim? I'd love to get y'all's thoughts, so let me know in the comment section below. And if you guys want to see more videos like this, click the card you see here, which will take you to my video on Gohan and why he is not the fire that you think he is. I'm the Curly Hair Lokage, and I hope you all have an amazing and blessed day. Peace.